Hey guys, my name is Gia and I am a vegan bodybuilder. Uh, I create YouTube videos to answer questions that people send to me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. When those answers are too long for me to provide answers to in those platforms, I create YouTube videos. <laughs> so lately I've been getting a lot of questions, guys, about uh, my hip bridges, my hip thrusts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I think the popular way of doing hip thrusts is with a barbell, but people have seen me doing it with a dumbbell, um, and I like it better. That's just, I, I figured out, hey, I can get as an effective workout with a dumbbell um, if I do certain things. So what I want to do with this video is to show you, at least talk you to through the differences between a barbell hip thrust and a dumbbell hip thrust. Um, and what I do in particular when I set up for the hip thrusts, where my mental state is, how I'm trying to get my um, mind and muscle connected, um, and just showing you kind of what I go through. So I hope it's helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to put it down in the comments below, or, or if there's any other tips or other, um, you know, ideas that you want me to create videos on, let me know by putting it in the comments. Below. Um, generally speaking, though, guys, the reason why I love dumbbell hip thrusts are two particular reasons. It is way less time to set up than a freaking barbell. <laughs> and secondly, the barbell, unless you have a pad or unless you layer those nasty floor pads on your hip, it it, it hurts. <laughs> You lay that barbell on your on your leg, your hip bone, it hurts. Um, so I use um, dumbbells for the reason of being easier to set up and not hurting as much. So I'm gonna voice over some of these old videos that I have for you guys and just, I hope it, it's helpful. That's it. All right, I'll see you at the end of this video. Let's start with the barbell hip thrust. You guys can see that I will always use my clips. The reason why barbell hip thrusts for me just take longer to set up is because I have to find a squat rack, I have to place the plates on the barbell, I have to put the <laughs> clips on the barbell, and every time I want to change weight, I have to do it on both sides, and I have to sometimes walk around and find plates. The concept is always kind of the same, though, between barbell as well as dumbbell hip thrusts. It's engaging my glutes, my hamstrings, my proper feet placement, engaging my abs, my back, etc. One of the other things that I have to look for when I'm doing a barbell hip thrust is that I have to find that pad to put between me and that barbell so I don't hurt my legs. Um, but you'll see here, what I'm doing is I roll the barbell to me. I have plates, by the way, behind that bench so that the bench doesn't move. I'm locking my feet to the ground into a position where I feel like my knees will be above my ankles when I thrust upward. You guys can't really see it from this angle, but I am holding that barbell in place with my arms. I am also keeping my neck straight, moving my head with my torso. The last strap I do sometimes like to hold that barbell in place just for that extra oomph in the glutes because why not? And that's it for the barbell hip thrust, guys. The other thing that I do like, the thing that I like about barbell hip thrust more so than I do about dumbbell hip thrust though is you can obviously go much higher weight. With dumbbell hip thrust, let's move to that now, most of the time the max you can get is 120 pound dumbbell but I compensate by using my fit girl resistance band which I'll link down below you see me putting that on my thighs the dumbbell I always place on the bench first just so I don't have to lift it from the floor because the band will get in the way I've already engaged my torso before I lifted that dumbbell from the bench I'm looking behind me placing that dumbbell on my legs before I start bending down I've moved it towards my hips now I'm doing a somewhat of a tricep dip form putting my back and that bench edge towards kind of like my bra line area. I'm doing sort of the same movement. But with the resistance band, it helps me to have one, that additional resistance as I'm doing each rep. It also just helps me to remember to um, push my knees a bit outward and, and don't let them buckle in. 
Upon finishing the set, what you'll want to do is you'll want to sit your bum down on the floor and roll that dumbbell safely off your legs and remove that resistance band. All right, guys, that's it. I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, just go ahead and put it in the comments below. Um, or if you have ideas that you want me to try out but are safe, I'll consider them if you put them in the comments below. Um, if this is the kind of stuff that's helpful for you guys, this style of video, the way that I produced it, whatever, um, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, please. Um, that's the only way that I'll know that like the way that I'm making these videos actually is, is good for you guys. <laughs> I only ever create content that is helpful for the audience. Um, every piece of content that I create, guys, is based on feedback that I get from you guys or questions that I get from you guys in those other platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Follow me if you aren't already. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell somewhere. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know where it is, but you can click it. All right, guys, that's it for now. Have a great day. See ya. Her got in the way. <laughs>